Yo, what is cracking, cuz? It is your boy Cypherblock here, bringing you guys not a Wi Fi battle or For the Fame or Wonderlock, but I'm actually here to bring you guys something um, that is potentially very important to our channel. Today, I am here to introduce the Major Pokemon League. Um, if you guys do not know what the Major Pokemon League is, it is pretty much the Major Pokemon League. It, it, it says what its title is. It is uh, pretty much... Um, it is a 16-man sports kind of like Pokemon League, you know what I'm saying? It's just sport. It's kind of like sports, but put into Pokemon. You know, we draft Pokemon. We, uh, you know, play with Pokemon. We can trade Pokemon to other people and then use their Pokemon. Um, we have games every Sunday, uh, or at least it will be uploaded every Sunday on the channel. And sorry if you guys are uh, listening to this and you're like, hey, your voice sounds kind of different. I went to a basketball game and completely blew out my voice which really sucks but uh today again i'm here to bring you guys a draft analysis video of like why i picked my drafts and how they could benefit me and you know hopefully they'll benefit for you guys to learn you know how to maybe even use a move set on a, on a new guy um so i drafted 11 pokemon 10 of which are uh just regular pokemon and then i drafted one mega so pretty much how it went was i drafted uh let's see i had four no, I had three three-year contracts, two two-year contracts, and then one mega or something like that. It, you, I will leave a picture of how that went in the uh, in the video actually. But again, while we're here today, um, I am gonna have a question of the day: is with these battles every Sunday? Would you guys like to see them live commentated with like live battles or would you guys like to see these posts commentated to keep it nice and short? Let me know in the comment section below because this is going to be very important for my channel. Uh, it's going to be important for our channel as well and it's going to be important for you guys. That way if you guys actually have time to watch the battle, you can or if you you know don't have enough time but you want to watch something that's short and you want to see how the season will go for us, then let me know in the comment section below on how you guys feel if live commentated battles are going to be your thing or if post commentator gonna be your thing so okay um now a little more background history with MPL again we uh we picked six or er, uh X Scizor, creator of the MPL which I cannot thank him enough he has really helped me out because I was really looking for a sports league to join or not or kind of like a sports slash Pokemon league to join that kind of like the GBA and if you guys don't know what the GBA is it's Global Battle Association I'm pretty sure you guys know what the GBA is uh, again it's like a Pokemon Sports League that uh, it was actually created by Steve Magnitude uh, again I will leave his uh, Twitter link and YouTube link in the description below make sure you go give him a follow and a sub but yeah he's the one who created the uh, the uh, GBA X Scissor again leave his Twitter link and YouTube link in the description below he's the creator of the MPL asked me to join I said hell yeah because I was looking for something like this and I've I wanted to join so again I am uh, I'm joined by uh, 15 other people to uh, do the matches I have uh, the interviewers and the uh, commentators of Lax Lime and uh, Derizzle the man uh, again I will leave their uh, YouTube and Twitter links in the description below make sure you give them a follow uh, but yeah in this video what I'm gonna do pretty much is I'm actually just gonna go over picks of like again why I pick them how they're gonna benefit me how they're least likely gonna benefit me and all that such so without further ado let's get right up into the first pick and not waste your guys time and let you guys know a little background or a little information on what was going in my head when I picked them so hope you guys enjoy and please grab your popcorn and have a seat because we're about to begin as you can hear, the trumpets have just played, and Talonflame number or Pokemon at number 663 is going to be our first pick of the first round. Um, well, actually, I meant we were fourth pick, but shh, don't say that to anybody. Uh, everyone was pretty pissed I picked Talonflame because a he was the mascot because I actually was the Detroit Gale Wings at first, but the MPL had already selected the name of uh, Detroit Gale Wings, so I had to switch to the Motor City Moltres. Speaking of which, make sure you drop hashtag Motor City Moltres down below if you guys are stoked for this season. So pretty much why I picked Talonflame. Again, everybody was so mad that I picked up Talonflame because they wanted to pick up Talonflame, uh, but luckily for me, I picked him up, which is very good. So why I picked Talonflame. His ability, Gale Wings, gives me so much priority. It does. If, if I even have a, I don't know, it's just something 
that I can get rid of. I can run acrobatic and still out speed. I can use brave bird. I can use aerial ace. I can do anything I want and out speed anything I want with that priority, which makes him so handy. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous on how handy he can become. And I mean, don't fall asleep on his attack. His attack is not something to play with. I mean, his speed of his attack is, oh my lord, it, just stop where you're at and make sure you switch into a, a physically offensive mod. But even if you do, you're still going to get hurt by a stab flare blitz or a stab uh, brave bird or something. I don't know. But um, another reason why I picked him up is because he can have a variant of items to be held. Uh, he can hold the leftovers, assault vest if I wanted to, uh, life orb, choice band, choice scarf, anything he wants he can hold and it will make him so versatile and it's going to throw off opponents um, and it's going to have to make them guess on what I'm thinking to do with his talent flame which is very good. I mean you can even make him a defensive talent flame. That's what I said, a defensive talent flame. That is the best part about talent flame right now. Talent flame is coming in clutch right now. I mean <clears throat> I haven't played my first game yet which will be coming out this Sunday. Um, but his typing with fire and flying just gives me such an advantage. I mean, I can kill bug type, grass, I can easily kill grass types. I can hit steel types. I can, I can just hit anything I want to, fighting anything. Talonflame is coming in such, so clutch, and he's, honestly, I feel like the, honestly, the, possibly the greatest OU Pokemon out there, so... That's pretty much a reason why I picked Talonflame because he's very, very, very versatile on the field, um, and and he's just such a high attacker. And I'm so glad with my pick. So now we're gonna come at you with the next pick right about now. All right. So next we have Pokemon number 121, which is Starmie. Starmie was the perfect pick for me. I uh, it was actually a pick, perfect pick for me. So I'm not gonna let you guys know of what my Mega was until last, but. Uh, Starmie was a very uh, good Pokemon to pick up because I realized I had a huge Stealth Rock weakness. <clears throat> I mean, huge. So that's why I wanted, wanted to pick Starmie because he is a very good potential spinner for rocks, poison spikes, toxic spikes, or whatever the fuck they're called. I don't know. But it, he's a good pick for all of those. Um, and another reason why I picked him is he's very versatile on all base stats. I can pretty much raise whatever base stat I want and make him a monster uh so again that's really why Starmie is a very 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 good pick for me and i mean look he just literally raised from uu to ou um and another reason why is he outspeeds a lot of pokemon i mean he's a base of 115 speed that's nothing to sleep on i mean that literally outspeeds a like literally almost 50 percent of the pokemon that are in today's world it's it's crazy. Um, <clears throat> so that again is another reason why I picked uh, Starmie, because he can really, really, really do work on the special side, and that's really what I needed. I needed. The I had already picked uh, two physical, or well, I already picked uh, I already picked one physical attacker, and I, I still need something to take special hits and dish special hits. So Starmie was a very good reason why I did, and also if you make him modest with max special attack please stay awake because I am going to clean your whole team if you fall asleep on Starmie like no one understands that it's it that's it's just oh man like so Starmie was a very good pick in my opinion because I really 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 needed someone to be uh specially offensive and specially defensive as well plus super fast and also Starmie has such a huge move pool. He can learn Ice Beam, Dazzling Gleam, Psy Shock, Scald, Rapid Spin. You name it, he can learn it. And Mirror type Starmie? Mere, it, 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 I have no words for how clutch this man's going to come for us. Starmie is about to be a freaking master on the field. So that's the reason why I picked him. And he was a great pick for me. I mean, in this draft, I had pretty pretty low picks. I think the closest pick I had was pick number two, and that was in the last round. So, 
that's pretty much when all the good Pokemon are gone. But uh, Starmie did come in as clutch, and I'm glad I picked him up. So I hope you guys are pretty glad that I picked up Starmie too. And uh, let me know how I can run a Starmie set. Let me know actually in the comments section, guys, of how I could also run any of these Pokemon. Like, let me know and help me become the MPL champion. Uh, that's what I'm shooting for. Like, I'm not shooting for no, let's make playoffs. Let's become champion. We got to shoot high. We're shooting high to the sky. So. That was pick number two. Pick number three is coming at you right now. So my next pick was Pokemon number 534, which is the red nose, buffed clown, veiny clown guy looking at himself, Mr. Conkelder himself. Make sure you give an applause for him. So why we picked Conkelder, you think? Well, number one, Conkelder is a very hard hitter. He has attack stats that raise the roof. And I really wanted someone that could hit hard that isn't down flame. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, his abilities make him just one of the clutchest things in Pokemon. I mean, he gets guts so you could run a facade set. He gets iron fist so you could run a drain punch and, and not... And, uh, ice punch kind of say, you know, that's really why I picked him because then my opponent's going to have to guess. I'm like, all right, so does he have the gut set? Does he have the uh, iron fist set? What does he bring to the table that could take me out? <clears throat> and not only that, but he gets a huge variant of move sets. He gets knockoff, mock punch, ice punch, uh, drain punch, Stone Edge, Rock Slide, anything, Earthquake, he gets them. And that's what's going to make him hit so hard. If I wanted to, I could choice banned him. If I wanted to. But, I mean, obviously I haven't seen too many choice banded ones. Um, but that's really why he's so very clutch to me. Because his movesets go and they correspond with his abilities, which makes it absolutely a great pick. And this is another pick that everyone's like, oh my gosh, I was really hoping for Con Kelder. That is why i like that's why i had to pick him up like even if he was the like like even if he was uh, i i don't know maybe if everyone had his eye on him then they didn't pick him like i was still shooting for con kelder because he can cup in or come in as such a variant pokemon and he's gonna come in as such a hard hitter it's ridiculous i mean his defense stat is nothing to play with like like yeah, after bringing a special attacker, and even if it's a special attacker, he could still take some hits. I could even assault this if I wanted to. So, he even gets a variant of items as well. So, you could literally mix and match a Con Kelder all day and come up with different sets, and he will still hit hard. And also, guys, he gets priority. He gets priority. Stab priority, which is Mach Punch. You don't want to play with that. So... Cotton Kelder was a very good pick for me. I'm so glad I picked him up because he is just, <clears throat> he's very, he's someone that I really needed to at least get, get ourselves going on in the MPL, you know? I mean, like, we already have three great picks, which is Talonflame, Storm, and now Cotton Kelder. We are sitting in a very good position right now. I mean, we are looking to sweep the whole league with just these three. So, Talonflame, Starmie, and now Cotton Kelder are three picks I do not regret and I'm so glad I picked them up so now coming at you with number four man you do not want to miss him so my next pick here is Nido King Pokemon number 34 why Nido King you ask well pretty much in all the first rounds of the draft every OU Pokemon was taken and I needed an, uh, an a UU Pokemon that could do work which was Nido King. Nido King in my opinion was what I needed. Um, you can you can run a special and a physical Nido King. I mean look at that uh, base attack stat. That's nothing to play with. I mean even in and, and the good thing is uh, with his ability sheer force you can even make his special attack even better with life orb as well so that's really why nido king is very 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 versatile in my opinion and also guys you got to pick up the youtube uh, you got to pick up the youtube mascot you got to pick up the channel logo man himself like that's what i mean i'm not just picking him up because he's part of my youtube channel but he's very versatile and could help out my team 
I mean, if you really think about it, like he could really help. And the thing is, he gets such a great um he gets such a great move set. I mean, you could run a thunderbolt, flamethrower, ice beam, earth power, anything, you know? You could run one of those and still take out a lot of mons. Plus you get stab poison and stab earth I mean er, earthquake. Wow. You get stab ground, which is very good. I mean that's actually that's really good. Um and please guys do not fall asleep on his speed. He is a very fast mon. He he outspeeds a lot of mons just like everyone thinks Starmie's slow. Starmie is not slow. But Nido King, if you make him a max speed guy, you can outspeed a lot of Pokemon. So, um, again, Nido King was a very good pick in my opinion. And also, you could make him bulky. He could be a very bulky mon. He could even be a setup because he does get uh, access to Stealth Rocks and Toxic Spikes. So, he could be also a bulky mon. So, he's one of those Pokemon where now that you're watching this, you got to think and keep on your toes of what kind of set this Nido King could be. Um, so that's, again, really why. And plus, he gets the Sheer Force ability. He even gets Poison Points. So, you know, there's a lot of versatility with Nido King, which makes him a great asset to this team. So I'm very good, glad with that pick. So this next pick here is something that nobody really expected to go in the draft. And here he is. My next pick here was Zygarde, Pokemon number 718. Now, the reason why I picked up Zygarde is A, I needed a Pokemon that could possibly set up and still eat hits on the physical and special side. So, looking through, I ran into Zygarde here. Uh, Zygarde, I mean, look at that base. Like, look at the base numbers. He has 600, he has a base stat of 600, which is phenomenal. And that's, that's actually Ubers. Like, it's pretty much should be Ubers. But, uh, thankful for me, he's still always in the OU. He's borderline UU and OU. But, he really uh, came in clutch. And I needed something like him. Because, again, I needed a Mon that could potentially set up, uh, like, possibly like a Substitute and a Dragon Dance. And he also has access to E-Speed and, and Dragon Claw and all that stuff. Or, well, I don't know if he gets Dragon Claw, but I'm going to have to look. But, yeah, he gets access to all these great moves. And, plus, he can learn Earthquake, which is Stab. He can learn Dragon Moves, which are Stab. So, uh, plus, he, if he can set up, that's all I really... Um, and that's that. Well, it's not all I was really looking forward to, but that was in my mindset when I was drafting him. So, and also, you can pretty much raise any stat on him. I mean, his lowest stat is his, probably his special attack, but still, like, that's higher than a lot of Pokemon's base special attack that are pretty much special attackers, you know? So, that was really a good reason why I picked Zygarde, because you can pretty much raise any stat. Another one is he's a legendary, and he's not Ubers. That's like a given. It's a given. Like, besides Zapdos getting picked up, he's a main legendary in a game. And he's not picked up? Like, what? I mean, besides, you know, Kiram Black, you know, I think he's I think he's OU. But still, like, Zygarde was another good pick that we needed to get. <clears throat> and also his typing. His typing gives us a very good advantage into getting a potential lead in the league. So, uh, I mean, I've seen Num Nexus use, which I will leave his Twitter link and YouTube link in the description below. I've seen him use Zygarde, and I was wondering, why did you pick up Zygarde? I've seen him use it in the GBA. Okay, now I got to go pick up Zygarde. So, he was a very good pick, and I'm glad that I picked him because, he, again, his base stat and also his uh, other stats are very close to each other where he can't get touched. You, I mean, you could literally set up easily with him and sweep if you wanted to. So, he was a very good pick, and I'm glad I picked Zygarde. So, with this next pick, we're getting a little lower on picks, but trust me, we're going to make it through. So, with this next pick here, you're not going to be disappointed. Pick number six for the Motor City Moltreses was Pokemon number 482, Mr. Azelf himself. Mr. Azelf himself. Came very clutch, and I'm glad I picked him up because I was still in the UU tier. And I needed something that could potentially set up rocks. I felt as though I needed a guy who could set up rocks. So that was really one big asset to why I picked uh, Azelf. Um, another reason why I picked him up was because he could switch freely with U-Turn. And I mean, he has a base 125 attack in 
also in his special attack, so I can easily, easily, easily run a a special set and still have that physical U-turn, you know. So that was really a good um it was really a uh, a plus for me on why I wanted Azelf. And also, you could even run an assault vest set and still be bulky as hell and still have super high special attack and attack. So, um, and also you could run leftovers. You could run a choice bandit, a choice specs, a choice scarf. You could run anything. So that's really why Azelf became a very versatile Pokemon for me, and a great pick for the Motor City Moltres because he has such great potential to be a late game or maybe even early game sweep, maybe mid game. Um, and also, again, with that uh, with that huge versatility, he can become a very big threat on the field. And I mean, also, again, like Needle King, you can even make him a special attacking or a physical attacking variant. So, uh, he is just an awesome poke in all, and plus, he gets to learn a bunch of threatening moves, is what no one understands. A... Now I'm bringing you pick number 7, and pick number 7 was Porygon Z. To my opinion, I needed something that could hit hard. I needed something that could hit hard on the special side, and there was none other than Porygon Z. After watching Shady Penguin use him in the GBA, um, and using that adaptability tri-attack, uh, it, it, it really 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 clung on to me. I mean adaptability is no joke when it comes to typing so adaptability was a really 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 big reason why I picked him up. Also another big reason why I picked him up was I needed a mon to break physical walls uh, which was the Porygon Z because he can hit hard with a tri attack, he can hit hard with a hyper beam, he even learns moves like discharge, ice beam, can take out flying types, uh, he even gets psy shock for those pesky damn fighting types, which is just amazing, so he has a huge move, uh, move pool that can kill very big potential threats, and also he has pretty rounded base stats, so I can either up either one uh, to make him even a stall out guy if I wanted to, so Porygon was a really big asset to my opinion, um, and I also needed a guy who could recover when he lost HP. So say if I was getting low and I knew he was going to switch because I was going to Ice Beam his Dragonite that already had broken multi-scale, I could easily know that I could uh, I could heal up and then just keep attacking and hitting things hard. So Porygon was a huge, huge, huge asset to my team and I'm very glad I picked him up because nothing hits hard than a guy who is invested in special attack. So, pretty damn glad that I picked up Porygon Z. Uh, and actually, I was going to pick up Espeon before him. And then, uh, right, actually, r literally right before, uh, I was just about to pick Espeon. The pick before me had picked Espeon. Uh, but, I, in all in all, I would rather have Porygon Z either way. So, my next pick coming to you live is right here. In the MPL. The Motor City Molt Trezes. Select. Miss Magi is Pokemon number 429. Reason why I picked up Miss Magi is because I need a special wall or I need someone that I can mix up. I, I really figured that I need someone that I can mix up throughout this whole game. I had a lot, and I mean a lot of physical walls, but I need something that was a special wall and I needed something that felt complete that could still possibly outspeed and also even maybe set up. And that, my friends, was uh, again Pokemon number 429, Miss Magius. Miss Magius, um, after watching Mega Magui use him, uh, he really showed me that he could have potential in a league such as this. So I really had to have uh, Miss Magic, especially from the move or uh, uh, the picks that I had. I needed someone that could be uh, very versatile in stats. So again, and also he could be a special setup. He could be a nasty ply. He could be a calm mind. He could be uh, I don't know even choice scarf. He could be something, and that is really something that stuck out to me is was his setup. I could either even help set up. Um, my special attack, or even my special attack, and my special defense. So it really, really uh, stuck out to me that he was a great setup guy, and he could still be fast as hell. Um, another thing that stuck out to me was that he could block normal types besides scrappy guys like Exploud or Kangaskhan or uh, Mega Lop Honey. Uh, but besides those guys, he really uh, blocks out normal type guys. Uh, so you know, there's there's a lot to him that could really be very beneficial. Which really stuck out to me. And also, he is so fast. And I mean, Miss Magius is a very fast Pokemon, in my opinion. Um, 
I mean, sometimes, you know, you could even not make them fast, but you could still make them bulky, which is very good to me. Um, and also, what really stuck out to me that could help was uh, he. It has the levitate ability. Um, and levitate ability makes uh, you know ground types do not affect you, uh, which is very good because uh, with that levitate ability, that means I can easily freely switch into Azulf if I feel an earthquake is coming on to my. I don't know, my Nido King. Yeah, I feel like a if I feel like a ground moves coming on my Nido King, it's very easy to uh switch into Miss Magius and then go for maybe a Psy Shock or something. I don't know. Some kind of psychic move on it. So that's what I really felt great. Or some kind of stab shadow ball. I don't know. Something. So that levitate really helped me out. And uh the last thing with Miss Magius that really helped me out is uh it can run different EVs within uh, within uh, special attack, speed, special defense, all that stuff. Very comes in clutch, and I'm so glad I picked uh, Miss Magius because Miss Magius is going to come clutch for the Motor City Moltres. So next pick, we have the man coming up himself here. Next in the MPL draft, I selected Chestnut Pokemon 652. Uh... A couple of reasons why I picked uh, Chestnut. Uh, main reason here was he's a very defensive Pokemon. Uh, he's a defensive tank, and he can take hits. Um, and, and he's so versatile that that defense helps him out a lot because now he'll be able to help set up um, moves to help recover I or have recover HP and such. So it was really good that his defense is so high, and he can still hit hard like a champ. Um, also, he has access to hazards, uh, spikes. Um, he, he has access to stuff, so I could really run a different kind of set of chestnuts that are out there. Um, and now, you know, with all the Pokemon that I've picked, it keeps my opponent guessing of what I'm going to do next. Which is very good, because, uh, I mean, yeah, they, they look, it looks like a very hit-hard hitting team, but, you know, you could always make up on the bulk side, and you just, you're going to throw off your opponent with such, uh, such Pokemon that, you know aren't really that common so uh, that's why I really like Chestnut because he's one of those Pokemon and also he's able to recover HP in in many different ways I mean you have Leech Seed, Drain Punch, um, you can also recover HP with Protect, Spiky Shield, um, just a lot of stuff you can even set up uh, substitutes if you want there's a lot of stuff you could do with Chestnut um, and I'm not gonna say too much that way my opponents see this and then they're gonna you know they they want to you know capitalize on it, especially when I play Jordy in the uh, in the Leeds Rhyhorns this uh, this Sunday, so it felt really good uh, picking up Chestnut. I'm really glad. And also, um, if I do get the chance with Chestnut, I could potentially set up with him. Guys, do not fall asleep on him because he learns Belly Drum as well, and bulk up in all of them. So uh, he's Pokemon, and definitely you don't want to uh, you don't want to uh, sleep on. And uh, guys, Spiky Shield comes in clutch too. Spiky Shield could come in clutch, so that's why Chestnut was a very good pick for me, and I'm glad I picked him up. So, coming at you next, we have the Pokemon himself. Here we go. So, my last selection in the MPL draft was a Pokemon that I needed to be able to uh, eat hits on the physical side and the special side, and be able to dish hits as well. Uh, f there was not a lot of Pokemon to pick out of, especially. Uh, I mean, I was, I was pick two of the last round but uh, again like you know all the other pokemon were still taken in the uh, upper draft so the uh, next pokemon i selected was s cavalier pokemon 589 uh, a lot of reasons why i picked up s cavalier i needed his typing for one his typing is very good uh it, it puts me at an advantage with bug slash steel you know very 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 not too many common uh weaknesses i think there's only fire if i believe uh so uh, and I have two ground types that can easily take fire hits. So he was a big reason why his typing could come in very clutch. And again, he's, you know, he's bulky as hell uh, on the physical and the special side. He can still dish hits on the physical side, which is very good because I needed a Pokemon that could do such. And S Cavalier was right there and I needed his typing. So, And also, uh, with S Cavalier, you could run so many different items. You could run uh, Life Orb, Choice Band, Choice Scarf. Well, Choice Scarf, I don't know if that's that, that'd be a good... You know, item to put on there, but uh, there's a lot of different items. I'm not going to go into detail because, again, I'm not trying to give my opponents the advantage of what I'm thinking. So, um, another reason why I, uh, I picked him is because uh, he has a base high attack. Like that is something to just keep your eyes open for. Because if I get the chance to hit you hard with that thing, you best believe I'm going to, going to, going to, going to. Um, 
And again, as, as Cavalier, he has, you know, one weakness, and I felt like he was a Pokemon that I needed to pick up um, that was just there. That, y you know, it's, it's a Pokemon that's very good that could really help potentially, especially the Mons I had picked. So, uh, now we have the uh, the Mega Pick himself. I did that in the first part, but now I'm going to reveal the Mega Pick starting here. Last but not least, folks. We have the last pick in the MPL draft. Well, it was our first pick, but I'm going to do it as the last one. It is going to be your team captain, Mr. Mega Beedrill, Pokemon number 15. A lot of reasons why I picked up Beedrill, and a lot of people were like, why did you pick up Mega Beedrill? I expected Mega Gyarados to go before Mega Beedrill. Well, reason to why I picked up Mega Beedrill was because I felt as though I really needed something that could hit hard. I needed something that could hit very hard on the physical side and I needed someone that could do that which I could have picked up uh, Mega Camera up or maybe Mega Sharpedo but those are a lot of expected mods or expected mods so I needed someone that could hit hard and potentially just sweep the whole game which again that was Mega Beedrill to me. Mega Beedrill um, again he has adaptability which is very good so now if you guys take the aspect look I have one physical adaptability guy which is mega beedrill and then i have one special mega or meg i have one special adaptability guy which is uh porygon z so that's where i'm really serving up to where i could hit hard on the special side and the physical side so that was a very good uh you know what my thought of what was going on um another reason why i picked up mega beedrill is because he has a potential to set up he could set up toxic spikes he could also even if he wanted to set up sword dances um that's if I get the chance to in the game. Uh, so that's another reason why. Because if I set up at least one sword dance, have adaptability, max attack, B drill, chances of you living are very slim. Um, and also, even with stab moves hit hard as hell, uh, U turn, X scissor, poison jab, uh, you name it, and it will hit hard. And I mean hard. And also, another reason I picked him up was because you, he can U turn freely uh, between stealth rocks and uh, hitting hard as with a stab. Again, with the sword dance if you wanted to. You know, that's that's another reason why Beedrill was. Uh, he was picked also because he can break these special walls. Uh, so, again, there's your team captain right there, which is Mega Beedrill. So, if you guys did like the picks of the 24 or i'm sorry it's almost a 2014 2015 mpl draft make sure you guys smash a like down below and make sure you uh get on the support of the motor city moltres so either way i'm really glad that you guys uh uh are behind behind the motor city moltres with support and such um little reasons to why um there's been late or not really too many uploads because I work a lot. Um, so, but I'm just hopefully going to get back on that grind. So, again, I'm really glad to have been asked to play in the uh, MPL. Uh, thank you, Ash, uh, aka XSR. Again, I will leave his Twitter link in the description below. I'm really happy that I actually got to ask because I was complaining, or not complaining, but I was like telling people, like, hey, I really want to join a league like this. So, I really have been blessed to have been asked to play in this because hopefully we can get this thing going and get it really big and hopefully have your guys' support as well. Um, and I'm also glad on who I picked up in this draft. I would not have a better squad. Um, and, and I'm really glad that I got the set of mods that I did. And we're going to we're gonna take this cup right back to Michigan. We're going to take this major Pokemon League cup right back to Michigan. Well, not right back, but it's, it's going to stay in Michigan for a while. Because with the set of guys we have, we should have a good season on our hands. Um, and also, hopefully, I have your guys' support as well. Your guys' support would mean... It, it would be fantastic um you know make sure you guys drop in the comment section below uh, as soon as you're done watching this uh hashtag mcm but not man crush monday or not man crush monday yeah uh make sure you guys put hashtag mcm for motor city mulches right down in the comment section below that would be fantastic and it shows me that i have your guys support make sure you guys drop a like on this draft analysis video i actually worked pretty hard on it and it actually took me oh god so long and also, I want to eat, thank each and every one of you guys. Uh, channel's right on the verge of getting up there. We just got to keep working on it. Got to keep stabbing at it. And hopefully, we can make you know something very good out of this. And also, again, make sure to show some love to the uh, creator of the MPL, which, again, is at XZOR on Twitter. Make sure you go drop him a like saying thank you for making the league. And now you get to watch some of your smaller favorite PokeTubers go at it in the league and hopefully take a cup back to their hometown. 
Um, so again, make sure you guys go follow the MPL. I will leave the link in the description below for the YouTube and Twitter. Uh, make sure you guys again go give them a follow. You know, because every Sunday everyone uploads everything on there. Um, and yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it. And also, if you guys would like, make sure you drop in the comment section below of what Pokemon really interested you and what set I should run on that poke, maybe impossibly bring to the first matches. So I will be making pokes for my Sunday match against uh, Jordy Boy Jack and the Leeds Rhyhorn. So I will be making that. But uh, other than that, uh, I'm going to get up out of here, guys. So make sure you drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to get out of here. So uh, last but not least, go Motor City Moltres. I will see you guys later, so please have yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. I will talk to you guys later, and thank you for watching What is Cracking, because see you.